We're not turning back and forth. It's not twist back and forth. This is the absolute longest way to learn how to throw the rotational shot. So are you curious how we get everybody to PR in a matter of days and how we just did it online in a virtual throws camp? We are gonna show you highlights from day one, so check it out. So what we're gonna focus on, um, again, pillar one of the shot we're working on, we set alignment, position one, and we bring it down. So it's alignment, set it. So you're gonna see this, one, look at where the arm's at, it starts at the side, avoid this. I see this, this is how we move. We create, a, we create a path this way. This screws up your shoulder. You could start here too. Some guys just want to start here and then come out wide. And notice we don't wind the shot. So a lot of throwers, when you guys are trying to learn rotational shot put, the thing that you guys make a mistake on is you wind the shot. You twist the shot. When I set here, watch my left shoulder, right? You're going to see this. We teach and recommend a higher start because it's easier to turn around and drop in. When you drop low and try to go drop and drop lower, that requires a huge amount of strength. So we're gonna go a little bit taller. All right, so watch, this is a good example. There we go. Okay, so it's not this, hold on a second. We're not turning back and forth. It's not twist back and forth. This is the absolute longest way to learn how to throw the rotational shot. Two, so your two is too short, you wanna turn. Sometimes people put their shoulders on top and they push their knees back. Now they've got this wind. Yes, okay, now wind and maintain your shoulders in that path so you're slightly forward. Yes, you feel the difference? Let's see, there we go, very nice, Nick. Oh, I love it, Nick did a great job. You fell forward, that means your hips are locked, your wind path is good and long. Good, now your hips are just twisting a little bit. Here's what Tatiana was doing. Pretty good, she's set, twisting you, showing you hips. Now here's what she was doing. She was this way. Remember guys, this is the whole point. If you get this wrong, your throw's harder. I'm, a, I'm huge on this, and this is why we're consistently showing big gains quickly, because it's gonna expose weaknesses that you need to address in the wake room, and it's gonna set you up on balance or not. And if you're off balance, you're gonna have big problems. If my hips are moving when I turn my shoulders, there's no separation. You guys are trying to shoot bow and arrows like this, right? It doesn't work. You have to hold the bow and then pull the string so you can let it go. If you don't feel tension, you're not in the right position. It's as simple as that. Nick has got a pretty, there we go. Nick, you're, you're the rock star so far. I'm really pumped. Drop straight down, yep. Get both legs more bent. Get your left more bent, yep. And then pull, bend your knee, yep, yep. Now close, now keep your left, that's a lot better. There we go, there we go. Good, I like it, I like it. Very nice. She's creating the angle and she's pushing herself onto the ball of the foot. In the rotational shot, you have to, you have to keep the right moving. In the glide, you're gonna feel the arm and you're gonna feel the sequence differently. That's why you're doing it that way because you were a glider, right? Yeah, so you're opening like the glide, which is good. So this is why this is a tricky switch because right leg, left arm, boom, stop it. You do a little drill, you correct her, you do a little drill, you correct her. And yeah, I feel more balanced now. Because I definitely feel uh, more comfortable with the rotational now. Once I break those habits, I feel like it's going to be a big PR. Being immersed in it, I honestly think this is better. 